What's up, everybody? This is Mac Man 2007. I uh, wanted to say thank you to everyone for subscribing. It's been a while since I've done a video update or, you know, on a collection and everything. Had a couple of things that I've sold, a couple of things I've gotten rid of, and pretty much downsized. But uh, right now, I'm just going to start off by showing you the Power Mac G5. Yes, it's a classic. This is the Power Mac G5, 1.6 gigahertz. Um, you know, just the basic. This is pretty much like a computer for the people that come in the house. They want to go online or something like that. You know, company guest or whatever. I don't really do too much on this one, but there you have it. You know, say hello to the fish. They protect it. They guard it. You know, when I'm not around. Uh, let's actually get to the computer itself. Here you have it. Pretty nice machine. I picked this up for about 200 bucks off of a friend of mine. Runs great. I uh, have no complaints really for what it does. I actually think if I wanted to make it a serious computer, that could be done. But you know, just a few upgrades would, would do that trick. But for now, it's good for what it does. And there you go. Those are the insides of it. Attached to it, a 20 inch cinema display. And that's that. Now, let me take you to the other interesting stuff. Off right now to the iPhone collection. Whoops, got a going on. Right here, you are looking at. An iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and another iPhone 4. This one's 32 gig, that's 32 gig, and this one's 16 gig. Um, I was very lucky to obtain these iPhones, the iPhone 4s that is. We actually, I went to the Apple store at about 5 o'clock on release date, and I was very discouraged once I seen the line. I thought I was actually getting there kind of early, but there was about maybe five to 600 people already camped out in line. So, you know. I went home, pretty much gave up on it. I did go to Best Buys later on that day, and they were sold out. I actually waited Best Buys for about 30 minutes before they opened. I was actually within the first 10, but they were sold out mainly to the people that pre-ordered. So, once again, I came home and gave up. So it was about 7 o'clock p.m. the night, the day of the release, you know, and I pretty much had given up all hope. And then we ended up getting a phone call from the Singular store and they said they actually had one left over. We had filled out some type of survey a while ago that I forgot about and it qualified me for like, you know, some type of pre-order. So whatever the case was, they called us up and it was a 16 gig, but I was happy with it. So then the next day, out of nowhere, we called the Apple store and come to find out the mall was, the mall usually don't open until 10.30 in this situation, but the Apple Store was open at 7. Not many people knew that. So I was able to sneak in the Apple Store. They had one left when I got there, and I was able to obtain that one. And that was a 32 gig. So that's my little secret story of getting these iPhone 4s, and they're currently still sold out in many Apple Stores. So I was very lucky to come across those without having to camp out or anything. Anyway, that's enough of my boring story. But they're pretty nice phones. I mean, the clarity on these things are amazing. I really can't explain um, you know cool features I got air mouse on there one thing that I pretty much been um, playing with a lot lately is iMovie the iMovie application pretty cool check that out on your app store oh also <laughs> almost forgot about this thing here so I do a lot of exercising and Got one hand here. Try to, try to hold this with the camera on my cheek here. I do a lot of exercising. Uh, so, what we have here, sorry about the camera work, guys, is a armband for iPod Touch. So, naturally, I went out to get an iPod Touch. This, of course, is the 8 gig. Nothing special. This is just like for running. You know, I just don't feel comfortable running around with my new iPhone yet until I get that outer box, but obviously they're not out yet. 
I picked that up for about 200 bucks. Wasn't nothing special. Now, off to the real stuff. Let's go. I just picked up this 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the i5, four gigabytes. I think it's 2.4. This is the pretty much introductory model. And didn't even open it up yet. You still see the tapes on there. And I guess we'll do a somewhat of an unboxing. Cut the tape off. Boom. Boom. There it goes. That's the 15 inch. Now they call me the Mac Man for a reason. And um, I gotta live up to the name. So I had to go out and get the 15 inch MacBook Pro. And this is beautiful. Still wrapped up in plastic. You can't really call yourself the Mac Man unless you have a MacBook Pro. I mean, the aluminum was nice, but this is it. Let's go check out some more of the stuff. All right, everybody, now we're upstairs. And this is um, a white MacBook, 2.2 gigahertz. Probably 07 model, late 07. And it's hooked up to a 37 inch LCD. This is the bedroom. And right now, I use my iPhone, if you can see. And it's a program called Air Mouse. And it actually controls, if you can see my finger moving up with it, I can control the computer pretty much. With this, I can make, you know, the clicks. See that? That's a right click. Um, you know, pretty much if I want to text, the text comes up. Pretty good feature. But anyway, that's the MacBook. White MacBook, 2.2 gigahertz. Does the job. On to this beauty. Excuse the mess. You know, kind of busy lately, doing a lot of work. But. Here you go. We're in landscape mode here. It's a 20 inch cinema display. And obviously, we're working with the MacBook, aluminum MacBook. Um, and this is my little, you know, little office. Pardon the mess. And I would like to also show you this is my little friend here. Little iPod shuffle. Pretty much useless for when I'm exercising, you know, trying to stay fit. You know, if I drop this or break this, really not the end of the world. That's a pretty nice little feature. And that is about it. Oh, hold on. Can't forget the children. Oh, yeah. The children. You know, the children have to have their Apple, too, you know. And we are working with an Apple G4. Uh, not doesn't re don't remember the specs on this thing too much. It's been a while since I messed with it. But this is my children's pretty much play machine, you know. And I guess we can see the specs. Why not? I believe it's like 400 gigahertz. I mean megahertz. Um, yep, there we go. 450 megahertz power PC G4. And I'm almost up to a gig of RAM for them, but this is just a little something, you know, to mess around with, nothing serious. And that is my Apple collection. Hope you enjoyed. I am the Apple Mac Man 2007.